For the filming part, I will be filming myself without any help using the iPhone 11 Pro standard camera. I will be using this inexpensive uh, tripod. This way I can get interesting angles of myself. By the way, if you're interested in the mobile gear I use, I will leave links to it in the video description below. I think filming yourself is the best way to learn filmmaking fast. It's a tedious process because you have to set up the shot and be in it. It also makes it difficult to compose your shot nicely since you can't really see yourself while filming, but it's definitely possible with a few tips and tricks that I will give you in this video. So I will go through a few basics first before we get into the behind the scene. In the end, I will show you how to edit the video using the free version of InShot, which you can download on your iPhone or Android phone. So that you know, this video is divided into eight parts. We're gonna talk about uh, location, storyline, camera settings, focus and exposure, composition, movement, behind the scene, and editing. So with that said, let's get into the video. So starting off with the location, it's important to consider when picking your location is that it matches with your story. Choose a place that helps tell the story. Also think of the time of day you are shooting because that can really change the suitability of your location. I picked the day where the sun is not too high above. It's actually a cloudy day, which is also beneficial. This way the light will be softer, resulting in less harsh shadows, giving you a more pleasing look. So try to avoid shooting during midday or pick an overcast day to really get better results. Unless you're going for that harsh look like in Western movies. So if you have to shoot during midday but want a softer lighting, then look for fully shaded areas, maybe behind trees or uh, behind a building where there is a shadow. So moving on to storyline, for this video, we're going to have a vague storyline. It's important to have some kind of story in your mind. I will start out from this spot. I will then get shots of me walking through the area, observing the place and crossing the bridge. In the end, I will be arriving at an interesting spot where I'll be filming most of my B-rolls. I will then put down my camera bag, grab my camera and take photos of the environment. So with this story in mind, I sort of know what shots I need. This is helpful because you don't want to just capture random things. When shooting videos, you don't always want to shoot from eye level since we see the world like that anyway. Really take the extra step to find interesting angles to make the video look more interesting. Maybe go a little bit lower or get on top of a rock to have an angle above. Really keep your eyes open for unique angles and doing so will definitely enhance the story you're trying to tell. So the process of how I do this is that I film a sequence from multiple angles. This way I have more option in post to cut the story. I usually start off with an establishing shot to give the viewer an idea of where the scene is taking place. I will also be taking media shots that will help tell the story. These shots will mostly be static uh, because my smartphone will be on a tripod most of the time. And of course I will add some nice detail or close-up shots to add more emotion into my story. Camera settings. We will be working with the standard camera of the iPhone because I want to keep it as simple and easy as possible for you guys. But if you are interested in using an advanced camera app like Filmic Pro where you have full control over your camera, then I highly recommend you check out this video where I explain how it works in detail. So the camera settings I will be using is 4K 60 frames per second. 4K has more detail and allows me to crop in. And this is really important since I'm filming myself and therefore might not get the framing right all the time. If you don't have 4K 60 frames per second, you can also go with 1080p 60 frames per second. But keep in mind that you won't have the flexibility to crop in that much. So be careful with that. Make sure to enable grid line so that you can set your composition correctly. Speaking of composition, the rule of thirds is one of the basic rules and easiest to get started with to create a strong balanced image. You simply want to enable grid lines and place your subject on one of the four intersection points. 
Avoid placing your subject in the box like now. Although placing your subject in the middle can create a strong composition, doing it too often can make the shot look very boring. Keep in mind that you don't always have to use the rule of thirds. It's really here to guide you to create a dynamic composition in your video. Another important part of composition is that you have a strong foreground, midground, and background to add a sense of depth into your scene. Think of it as layers. In terms of shallow depth of field, you won't get that much on a smartphone, meaning that the subject is in focus and the background is out of focus. Now, there is a way to achieve a really shallow depth of field on your smartphone is to get really close onto your subject. That would work. Focus and exposure. The video option on an iPhone are somewhat limited compared to a video app like Filmic Pro, but the small amount of adjustments that you can make on your iPhone's camera will still enable you to do important things. Now setting focus is pretty easy on an iPhone. Just tap where you want to set the focus and it will automatically do it for you. To get a little bit more advanced, I like using the AE and AF lock for locking focus and exposure. AE stands for auto exposure and AF for auto focus. Keep in mind that you can't separate these two. For that, you would need an advanced camera app, but for what we're using it for right now, this should be enough. Now let me show you how you can lock your focus. Frame the subject and tap the screen to select your focus point. Hold your fingers down on your focus point for a couple of seconds and a small yellow box will start to flash with AE AF lock appearing. Your focus is now locked. If you reframe to something else, you will see that it's out of focus. To release it, tap elsewhere. To lock your exposure, again, you want to frame the scene and tap on the area of the image that you wish to auto expose correctly. You should now see that the brightness of the image has been adjusted to the point that you have selected. You should be having a perfectly exposed image now. If you reframe to a brighter area, you will see that the exposure won't change. Another useful feature that is important to know is to manually set your exposure. This comes in handy if you want to reduce noise or simply want to correct your exposure because you're unhappy with the auto correction that has been made on your smartphone. So to manually adjust your exposure, tap on the iPhone screen on the point of focus. You will see a yellow box appear with the sun icon. Move your finger up or down the screen to brighten or darken the exposure. All right, let's move on to movement. Most smartphones have optical image stabilization that will compensate for the hand movement. To even get smoother shots, make sure to have your knees slightly bent and your feet roll when walking. Also hold your iPhone with both hands and keep whenever possible close to your chest. Really move with your whole body instead of using just your arms. Because we're recording in slow motion, this will also help make the video look more smoother. Now, I prefer using a gimbal because it allows me to be more flexible and I can really create dynamic shots with it. But since I want to keep this video low budget, I will just be using my tripod and some handheld movements. So I hope you digested all of that information. Now we're gonna get into the behind the scene and shoot the video. So we're gonna start off here with our establishing shot. And what I'm gonna do is pull the camera upwards uh, to reveal uh, the nature's beauty. So I'm gonna set the focus first and then lock it. And then I'm gonna create this revealing shot. So there's a nice reflection going on here. And I think this is gonna look great for a nice close up. So I'm gonna use the tele lens for that. I'm gonna set the focus on the reflection, lock it, and action. All right, so I set my tripod over here. Uh, I'm gonna get a medium shot of myself walking over that bridge. I have some nice foreground uh, with this tree. Um, and I'm gonna set my focus on the bridge and then lock it. And I'm gonna push down the exposure just a little bit and I'm gonna start recording. So I think this shot would look great because of the leading lines. Uh, giving it a nice symmetry. So I'm gonna set the exposure on the sky to preserve those highlights and lock it. So let's test it out.
So for this shot, I'm gonna use the tripod to film myself and create some movement in it. So I'm gonna switch to the front facing camera so that I can see myself. And just as I gaze at the leaves, I just turn the tripod around me. And I think that's gonna look great. So let's try it. So I'm gonna film myself walking. I'm gonna use the tripod again and put it upside down and angle it so that my shoes are in the frame. And for that, I'm gonna use the ultra wide lens. So let's go. So I think this would be an interesting angle as well. As I said before, I want to get for every sequence different angles. So I have a little bit of foreground, these leaves, and uh, I'm going to walk across the bridge again. And this is going to create a really dynamic shot. Start recording. So now I'm going to get a shot of this tall tree, also because of this leading line. And I'm going to film it like this in a circular motion using the ultra wide lens. Let's see how this looks like. The next shot will be from a different angle, like a continuous shot of the previous video. And again, I have some leaves here in the shot and I'm just going to walk across the bridge again along this path. Start recording. And of course, there is also some acting involved. So the camera is hidden between the trees and uh, this is a different angle uh, that I want to get. Again, me walking this path so I can create a dynamic shot. Press the video and we can get started. So this is the part where I walk towards the bench and take off my bag, pull out the camera and take pictures of the city. So I'm gonna set the focus on the bench and lock it and start recording. Important note is that you don't want to have the trash can in your frame. <laughs> 